what would you share with someone who's recently received a diagnosis and they just, they're trying to look ahead? What would you share with them to encourage them? Some people don't like to call it a fight. Um, and some people don't like to call it a journey. But I think embracing the fact that it truly is a journey, not just about cancer, but, you know, letting somebody know who's, you know, going through this to, it's not necessarily about the, the end result. It's about what you learn through every single step and those connections that you make um, with the community, but also you reconnect with your family and your loved ones in ways that you would have never, ever imagined. And you reconnect with yourself. And so soaking in those moments is truly something that I found, you know, the, looking for silver linings through every little step of the way, every little part of your journey, um, and, and trying to make the the most out of losing your hair. And because uh, that was for me one of the scariest things. I, I'm a Southern girl, I like my long hair. <laughs> Um, but just embracing and, and, and looking for the, the bright side to every challenge that's put in your way. It makes it go so much more smoothly, but it also gives you some insight into maybe why this was put into our path. Mm -hmm. um, understanding humility. Um, if you go through chemo, you will realize that chemo brain is real. Nobody really talks about it. But that was one thing. I was a businesswoman in Atlanta and, and did events. And no, not being able to remember something as little as, a, you know, little vocabulary word that I had to get my, at the time, five-year-old little girl to come in there and tell me what is this word that I'm trying to think of. Mm -hmm. um, but knowing and being prepared for the fact that those things are going to happen. And just to have a sense of humor about it. And otherwise, it can be detrimental um, to your heart, and it, it can be hard on your ego. <laughs> but but embracing every little step of the journey, I think, is truly important. Mm. And, and you seem to be so positive, and you have that sense of humor. And it's really about um, having that growth mindset. You know, even though this is something I've been dealt with, that's really really unfortunate. You know, what is the opportunity that I can find in the journey? Right. I love that. Yeah. Somebody once told me, don't use it as a stumbling block. Use, you know, is, use it as a stepping stone. Oh, I love that. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of things, whether it's cancer or, you know, hardships in relationships or finances, whatever it is, there can be a lesson learned from overcoming it. Mm -hmm. um, as somebody who was newly diagnosed, um, trying to realize that there's not a lot that with cancer that you can predict and control, but there are certain things like working with amazing doctors um, and, and getting your medical plan ahead of you. And, uh, you know, knowing that those are things that you can control and about the other things, you just like you said, just laugh and have a sense of humor about life and, and trying to soak in what it is that we're supposed to learn from this journey. Yeah. Very good. Who has been your biggest support system through this all? My family, absolutely. I um, have an amazing husband and my rock of a little girl. She just now turned nine last Aww. week. And, uh, you know, to tell a, a five-year-old that mommy has cancer was probably one of the most difficult things, but she is a rock star, you know, and uh, that that helped me through. My parents are still in Georgia, but they constantly came up and visited. And, um, you know, my, my friends back home who would send texts, even though they might not know what to say, they would just send a text or a, a Facebook message or something saying, hey, not exactly sure what to say, but I wanted to let you know I was thinking about you. Wow. Um, those little things make all the difference, and they're the glue that really help you to fight on. What are you most looking forward to moving forward? Going forward with the Pink Hills Color Rush is truly, you know, my focus going forward and uh, making it stronger and, and a, a force to be reckoned with and it, balancing a fun event with an awareness event. Again, it's, you know, I had breast cancer, but there's so many out there that have other forms of cancer. So we throw all different colors representing the cancer awareness colors 
So we come out wearing each other's battle colors, if you will. I love that. Uh, it's so much fun. <laughs> and uh, we make it, you know, accessible to those even that are avid runners like my husband and doing marathons to we have, you know, people in wheelchairs that are doing it. And um, we have a, a paved course and an off-road course and just opening it up and, and being, you know, inviting to everybody in our community. And I think that to me is the light at the end of the tunnel is sharing my journey and making someone else's a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like it's something that everyone can get involved in. Absolutely. I, I knew that there was a lot that I wasn't able to do when I was going through treatment. And uh, I'm very strong-willed and stubborn. <laughs> so I, I didn't want that to be the case for someone else. So having a one-mile fun run for the kids and that 5K with a couple different options, it's open to everyone.